welcome back to another lippy review. This one is for the Ipsy exclusive Gigi Gorgeous Less Is More lip gloss in what was this color? Get into it. So it's this really pretty shimmery pink shade. Um, I got it last year sometime. I'm just now getting around to opening it because I'm slow. It's been almost a full year from when I got this one, so it's time to open the dang thing already, I think. Uh, but anyway, apparently Gigi Gorgeous is a YouTuber I had never heard of or anything, so I was unfamiliar until I went to Google this product for more info before recording this because I wanted, like, pricing info and stuff and... Is this the full size? That kind of deal. But yeah, apparently this is full size. This retailed for $16 when they were still selling it, which is crazy to me. But anyway, so format wise, it is a gloss. Um, packaging is pretty simple. It's just got this little like Barbie pink cap, clear acrylic tube. It's got her logo on it. Simple stuff. Not very much info on the thing itself, but anyway. Does it have the size? It's really small. 0.13 ounces. So not a whole ton, believe it or not. It looks like more than it is. Now it is synthetic. I don't have the ingredients right here, but I looked them up online. It is very much synthetic. Uh, it's not part of a set. It was limited edition. I think they already don't sell it anymore, but you can definitely find it on like Amazon and places all over the place. Um, not medicated, no SPF. One special feature with it, though, is it has a jumbo doe foot applicator. And I was like, what does that mean? That is what that means, my darlings. Look at that. That is huge. Let's see how it smells. Oh. It's like a really sweet vanilla. I'm liking it. It makes this really satisfying... When you put it back in, it's like a squish. There it is. It's like a slurpy sound. Like, ooh, I don't know why that's so satisfying to me, but it totally is. So I'm going to swatch a little on the back of the hand, just so you can see that it's very pigmented. Very shiny. So, they recommend putting on two coats of this. Let's get my hair out of the way. So we'll do that. So that's one coat. That's really pretty, even just as is. And then... There we go, two coats. Ooh! Ooh, I see why they say it! That's beautiful with two coats! Oh my gosh! Wow! Look at that! That is absolutely beautiful. As for what it feels like, it does feel very liquidy. To where when I was putting it on, I was almost worried about, is this going to drip? It almost feels drippy. So that concerns me a little. But, I mean, it's so pretty, though. Um, Thickness-wise, even at two coats... Not that thick, but with that applicator, it's hard to get a really even application. Like, on one side, it feels thicker than the other, and I don't know, well, I mean, I guess I do know why, but, um, yeah, it's a little strange that way. I still feel almost like the tiniest bit of grit from the shimmer. It's subtle, and it's very small, so I don't feel much. And what I do feel is very minimal, so it doesn't bother me really, but I do still feel it. Just throwing it out there as a disclaimer. So, I mean, that could be part of why they said two coats, because at two coats you don't feel it as much, because it's more suspended in the gloss, whereas at one, I was definitely feeling it more. Now this, since it is a gloss and not a balm, I'm positive it's basically just going to sit on the lips. It is infused with vitamin E, so I mean it will do something for you in terms of moisturization, but I mean just the nature of what it is, it, it's not really meant to be used like a lip balm it is a cosmetic. This is meant to be aesthetics, not for actual 
helping, really. <laughs> so anyway, um, we all know it's going to transfer. But let's see how badly it does it. I'm sitting down so I can do this. I have a little more room over here because I cleaned up a little bit yesterday. Um, I consolidated down the Ipsy boxes and the Allure boxes to where now they're just like in one stack instead of about three. So I have more room over here to wiggle around now. So <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and do the kissy test. Oh yeah. Yeah, it failed that pretty hard. And just doing that, that little bit it took off the top, I really feel that glitter grit in there now. So I'm not so wild about that part. Um, pretty sure it's gonna fail the drink test, but we can do it anyway, so... Yeah, I feel like it disappeared off the middle of my upper lip. Like, it's still there some. But, like, all I feel is the glitter now. <laughs> it's like the rest of it just went bye-bye. And I see it on the side of my mugs. So I'm like, aww. Sad. Well, I only have, like, another sip, so. We already did the damage may as well. So, anyway. Yeah, I failed that. So, let's see. I do still like it, though, so I am still going to give it the wow factor. Let me top it back up, though, just because it is pretty, and I would like to wear it today. Okay. I'm so amused with that squishy, squishy, squishy sound in there. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, so... What will I rate this? Hmm. Well, the price for what you get, I feel like, is overdone. Limited edition or not, Ipsy exclusive or not, 16 bucks is too much for that little thing. I'm sorry, it is, in my opinion. So, I am taking a point off for that. The fact that I feel the glitter in there as much as I do, that's a point. Fail the drink test, that's a point. Um... Let's see. Obviously it transfers, like, badly. So, I am personally rating this a 6 out of 10. It's still just above average. It's still, I mean, in terms of, like, tinted, shimmery lip glosses, it's about right in the middle. I mean, it's nothing crazy special, but it's nothing bad. It's honestly about what you'd expect from a lip gloss like this. I mean, what you see is what you get. It's really not pulling any punches. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect here. So, giving it a very average rating feels appropriate here, in my opinion. So, anyways. That's about it, really. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Did you guys have this one? What did you guys think of it, good, bad, or otherwise? Let me know down below. As well as anything else you feel like leaving me, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.